Hi there, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love and light to you here. We're here with your very personal new moon in Capricorn reading. And uh, let's see here, Aries, right off the bat, I'm getting for you, there's a strong focus on the root chakra just coming through for you. That's related to the very baseline chakra, so to speak, the very first chakra in the body. That which is related to grounding. And you have here at the apex of your spread, right before we begin, the devil card sitting right here at the at the top of your uh i'm hearing your uh i'm hearing your your orientation into this new beginning the fool looking off into the future as well right over the seven of pentacles in reverse now aries and you have the wheel of fortune in reverse mirroring this fool who looks off into the future aries it's such a i'm feeling this energy for it's a grounding energy a beautiful energy i'm hearing it's stabilizing the form and the force that you are moving into very interesting the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles i'm hearing with this the ten of cups and I'm, it's so fascinating because I'm feeling this sense of, um, I'm hearing, uh, <clears throat> I'm hearing reorientation, which if you think about it, right, there's a sense of dynamism that may be associated with reorienting, right, moving, I'm hearing translocating as well here for a number of you, um, and, and in whatever way that it might be meant for you, whatever you feel might be shifting, uh, I'm hearing again, orientation, and with that, there is, um, I'm hearing all the while a sense of, uh, I'm hearing predictability with that, where, where, and we feel that what it is that we are, uh, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing pivoting pivoting um in in the uh, i'm hearing in the standardization of the act of very interesting <clears throat> that we find there is i'm hearing a grander i'm hearing cohesive storyline that makes us feel like the string has a story and i'm hearing <clears throat> and i'm seeing it as being something that has been um uh, I'm hearing broken down wave by wave here with the two of cups smacked up here in the, uh, well, I was going to say in the middle, but it is on the right hand side. Interesting. Okay, we'll heed that. The eight of cups is in reverse, mirroring this two of cups. I'm hearing launching it out with the four of pentacles. Okay, the five pentacles in reverse and the magician in reverse. The magician's looking back at the daughter of wands, a bright smack dab in between the two of cups and the eight of cups. I'm hearing someone, someone has come here. I'm hearing a long, long way. I'm hearing has arrived from a long, long past. I'm hearing as well. Journey and journeys to meet up again and make this reality real uh i'm seeing it's related here to the archetype of sagittarius you have both the magician and the temperance card they're literally I'm, in a certain way perhaps even as it may be considered bombarding this daughter of wands kind of like uh, in such a way to say well i'm hearing it's time the world is in reverse and the sun is upright i'm hearing we are no longer stagnant in the shape that we are uh, shaping i'm hearing this uh, shoreline to for us, I'm hearing specifically to recognize it as the, uh, I'm hearing as the dock uh, for the bay. Very interesting. Okay, I'm hearing with the Empress, Ace of Wands, I'm hearing our assets, Father of Cups. I'm hearing we're landing. I'm hearing we are understanding what exactly we feel we are. I'm hearing responsible even to uh, to carry out here as a mission. I'm hearing a statement as well for a number of you. It could be something that you feel. I'm hearing th uh, the star coming through. Up right with the lovers. I'm hearing this is my story. I'm hearing that again. Uh, I'm hearing Leo. Scorpio strongly here comes Scorpio the major kind of the death card in reverse always a matter of interpretation of course but I'm getting that this is specifically um, related to the archetype of Scorpio and it is associated with the archetype of Scorpio but again take it as you will um, there may be something yet again that you have been I'm hearing feeling somewhat as like a polarized space where you're like what is it that has I'm hearing edges and angles to it but still I'm hearing knows how to uh i'm hearing uh i'm hearing bob i'm hearing but i'm seeing like a something that is round i'm hearing an egg here related to the fool uh i'm hearing bobbing in and out of water though so interesting okay um i'm hearing shamu here <laughs> with the death card and i am seeing a seeing an ocean now the father pentacles is looking over at this whole forecast i'm hearing with his fingers in his mouth i'm hearing tasting and taste testing the uh i'm hearing the solution here i'm hearing alien uh, nature i'm hearing foreign uh here with the father pentacles who's mirroring the ace of, and i'm hearing which is also mirroring this ace of pentacles strong earth energy here uh i'm hearing that's uh, being discussed i'm hearing heavy matters here on the table you could be moving i'm hearing that specifically for number but you could also be manufacturing uh i'm hearing a certain type of uh i'm hearing i'm hearing gopro system i'm hearing that for number i'm hearing related to navigation i'm hearing of the heart i'm hearing chakra very interesting the heart 
Friar found a reverse. It could be something here. Aries, that you see being very much relevant, that you see playing a part in how I'm hearing the buoyancy of the beginning here is uh, carried out. And I'm hearing with a certain, uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing uh, a boy-like nature here. I'm hearing boyish nature here with the Hierophant in reverse. Uh, intact, whatever that may mean in particular for you. I'm hearing what is the balancing act at the end of the day and also at the beginning when the sun begins to rise and remind us that the world is waiting. Now, I'm hearing with with our assets here with the nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles now it's interesting aries you have and i'm hearing taurus strongly here and this is the card associated with taurus and the major arcana the higher font um it's interesting because the there is uh, i'm hearing this particular uh i'm hearing shelve on the uh on the uh i'm hearing um i'm hearing um I'm hearing chandelier, okay, I'm very interesting, uh, is in a certain way, <coughs> um, it's, I'm hearing chock full with, with, uh, with earth energy, and it is, you've got the ace of pentacles, earth energy, father pentacles, right, pentacles being related to the element of earth, knight of pentacles, and the higher font, the only card here in this mix, as it may be perceived, is, uh, I'm hearing the force of, uh, the, of, of the feeling space here, I'm hearing heart chakra with the seven of wands interesting now the the wands element speaks to fire gen, ener, energy generally it speaks to how it is that we are um in in a certain way uh uh i'm hearing moved by i'm hearing um i'm hearing let me tune in for here Aries. one second I'm hearing jumping into the form that we hold focus on. And Earth energy speaks to what is carried out over. I'm hearing a certain lineage of time specifically, whatever that may mean in particular for you. Fire being kind of the, I'm hearing the destructive force that allows us, I'm hearing, and, and, and inspires us even to shake the paradigm up a little bit as we still, uh, in a certain way, uh, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing uh, share, uh, I'm hearing share the, uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, the cross with others, whatever that may mean. Okay, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm seeing it as being related to the Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Ace of Pentacles. Aries, what it is though that you see perhaps having a certain, uh, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing very public orientation where it's like, okay, I'm seeing you kind of operating within a certain space that is very broad, that is very expansive, that is carried out. I'm hearing layer by layer. I'm hearing also lifetime by lifetime, but the strength card coming through with the apex of respect. Take it as you will, Aries, which is a matter of personal interpretation and perception. Now, I'm seeing that within that sort of, I'm hearing stream of uh, your, I'm hearing again, your shares. I'm hearing shares. What, again, whatever that may mean for you, what it is that you might, I'm hearing, even be in the process of distributing to, I'm hearing, and, and amidst, uh, amongst your platform, I'm hearing people. Uh, this could be related to uh, community service, I'm hearing, but also academics, okay? Even a certain industry here, Aries, but always, again, take it as you will. I'm seeing that at the end of the day, I'm hearing we are shedding the layers by which we uh, are, uh, I'm hearing, tuning into, listening into how it is exactly that we see ourselves operating in this connective space. And it's kind of like, where does the public meet the private? Where does the private meet the public? How is it that we're operating within a certain space? I'm hearing and feeling that we are uh, in a certain way uh, placeless. I'm hearing spaceless and that we are also occupying the void. Very interesting areas. Now I'm seeing that this is a uh, specifically a matter of how it is that perhaps you are still, I'm hearing, keeping up with a certain, uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing particulate form of matter. Okay, it's getting a bit abstract, Aries. Uh, but you got here the Mother of Cups uh, perpendicular to the moon, kind of acknowledging here. You might be dealing with a Pisces absolutely the second time that the high, the hangman has come through in the same exact position right down here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm hearing loosening and, and unfastening the, uh, the belt here to the form that's been taken on, the hermit in reverse. We may be making a major change even in terms of how we recognize. I'm hearing certain parts of the, of the physical uh, body. Very interesting. It's like what is this really made for? I'm hearing, I'm hearing, ch ch I'm hearing children. Very interesting. Okay. Now I'm hearing Pisces, Aries, strongly Aquarius. I'm hearing as well. And this is the card associated with Aquarius and the major card of the fool. Um, Aries, I'm getting for you that there's been a certain timeline. I'm hearing again, a certain, uh, I'm hearing also tempering of a certain flame, so to speak, of a certain cause. I'm seeing that, and I want to pull these cards off of the ground if you have fallen off in the last reading, and I <coughs> left them there. I'm hearing, 
I'm hearing emotional causes with the Mother of Swords and the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is in reverse, Mother of Swords is upright. I'm hearing what's her storyline, what's her gig, let's get on it. There could be something that someone, um, the chariot coming here at the base of these two uh, cards. I'm hearing someone, uh, I'm hearing from the past or some storyline from the past that you feel kind of needs to be more, uh, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing perhaps publicized for a number of you. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing, let leave it for, I'm hearing Larry King live though, whatever that may be in a drink for you. Leave it for, uh, <coughs> the, uh, I'm hearing the lesson plan as well. Okay. Nonetheless, there could be a pause on that. I'm hearing specifically, or you may be feeling that you have been needing to take a pause on something. Um, there might be, a something I'm getting you almost like kind of being like, okay, that, that was interesting, but not enough to hold it on the shelf quite yet. I'm hearing and show everyone what we are going to be telling them uh, pretty soon here. It could be something that you might be wanting to present. Uh, okay, it could be a direction as well that you see yourself moving in. It could be actual translocation and movement. But for a number of you, I'm seeing this is a storyline I'm hearing. Okay, but nonetheless, it could go in so many ways, Aries. Let's get back to it. I'm seeing that you, Aries, <clears throat> are perhaps involved in something very public. It could have been something related to your career. And whatever it has been, I'm hearing you feel that there are perhaps different types of. Uh, I'm hearing. Um I'm hearing lessons that ought to be that ought to, uh, that ought to be tuned into here with the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, uh, as we leave, I'm hearing this particular. Um, I'm hearing uh, I'm hearing party bus, and the Fool leads out over the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I'm hearing somewhere over the rainbow, but I'm hearing uh, I'm hearing where we uh, I'm hearing areas where we uh, I'm hearing. I'm hearing rewind. <clears throat> Usually that song goes way up high. Da da land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Some way I wish I born a star. That's uh, the uh, <clears throat> Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. Okay. Now <clears throat> the hangman comes out again. I'm hearing thrice here. The hangman uh, upright, Mother of Cups in reverse, right over here. The Ten of Pentacles. For a number of you, this is a wake up call. I'm hearing wake up. I'm hearing waking up. To uh, I'm hearing <clears throat> the. Uh, <clears throat> I'm hearing the world here, and the world sits at the base of the hanged man, the mother of cups, the four of wands in reverse. Let's uh, clear it all out. I'm hearing before the uh, before the decision. Uh, I'm hearing of uh, I'm hearing the death card is made. I'm hearing of death, whatever that may mean for you. What is considered right transmutational? I'm hearing transformational. Let's uh, again pull the cards and see what comes through here for you, Aries. Here, just to shout with the devil. Ooh, I just, uh, I just, I'm hearing pressed on this, but I, but I just kind of pushed it a little. This is a, um, this is a, uh, I'm hearing honor quartz. I'm, I'm not sure what's coming through here uh, for you, Aries, but this is a, a smoky quartz. Okay, take it as you will. I'm seeing the number eight being a strong focus here. Um, in whatever way that might be uh, related for you. And I want to pull new cards. Yes, I want to pull new cards for you, Aries. I want to pull from this deck, the Art Oracles. But I've pulled these cards and I will uh, slide them here to certain parts of the spread. As uh, I'm hearing, as audience members to the, uh, to the community. Very interesting. Okay, Aries, what's coming through? <coughs> Clear your voice for this one. I'm hearing it's the children here. The Yayoi Kusama coming through. Gustav, uh, Gustav Klimt. Mm. And Jeff Koons, Salvador Dali, Filippo Marinetti, Mies van der Roch, Wassily Kandinsky. Leading out with Diane Orbos and Michelangelo. Okay. Leading into them, Arch. Charles and Ray Eames, Albrecht Durer, <laughs> and up top is Orlin with Jackson Pollock. Let's pull one more card, Aries. I'm hearing, don't share your. Uh, here 
hearing that song. I'm in love with the shape of you by Edward Sharan. Ed Edward. Did I call him Edward? <laughs> Ed Sharan Edward. Edward. Who knows? Hey, is that his real name? And he's uh, and he's trumping us all here. <laughs> no. Edward. That's so interesting. <coughs> okay. Um, I'm pulling all the cards here for you, Aries. Let's just pull them and uh, and then we'll share. Okay. I'm hearing it's a matter of the storyline and how it is that that is in a certain way showcased. There is a serious, uh, very serious, I'm hearing mission. I'm hearing also though moment of revelation here. You have the world upright mirroring this ace of swords. For a number of you areas, I'm seeing that this is um, kind of something that you might be thinking, well, I've got to, uh, I'm hearing communicate about this. I've got to say what's on my mind. You may be receiving word here from someone uh, who's got a lot of fire in their chart, somebody who's been kind of, uh, I'm hearing, getting getting comfortable with the remote in their hand here to kind of, uh, I'm hearing, dial you up as a, as a winner on their... Uh, on their station, whatever that may mean, they could want to uh, perhaps perform with you, I'm hearing in some kind of way, take it as you will, I'm hearing spicy, I'm hearing Aries, the world upright, the temperance card upright, and the hermit smacked down between these two, I'm hearing we're making, uh, we're making an inference or two here, and we're understanding uh, what the talk is all about, I'm hearing you may be drawing closer to a certain type of uh, very important, uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing transition here, trans transition. I'm hearing also of state, of power, in whatever way that might be meant for you. A major shift in the way that you see your, uh, I'm hearing shares again. I'm hearing be, kind of being uh, related to who holds them. I'm hearing around you and who in a certain way, I'm always saying someone who's like part of a really like large enterprise, I'm hearing company, corporate, and they're like, I'm hearing they hold share or value in some kind of way and they, uh, have been shown certain glass cases that no one else sees. I'm hearing when um, when the ball is bounced around in the boardroom and it makes you feel like you are. Uh, I'm hearing really. Um I'm hearing <clears throat> cutting to the uh, to the core of the business, whatever that may mean in particular for you. And at the end of the day, though, Aries, I'm hearing specifically, it's like, what does the, uh, I'm hearing, does the baby, uh, oh, I'm hearing that song. What does the papa, what's that song? Oh, Aries, if anybody knows. So it's something like, Oh gosh, I don't recall, I don't recall, but okay. Take it as you will, Aries. I'm seeing who that's something. Like sa da 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 uh, it's like what how does that that I don't know. Aries, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm hearing it's a privatized venture here. But again, I'm seeing that what you are I'm hearing amorphizing. I'm hearing aphorisms here with the Buck Minister Fuller. Jesus Klein, I'm hearing you might be involved in the in the research of something here. Um, heavily, I'm hearing research. Yes, okay, Aries, I'm seeing I'm seeing you. Having been involved in a certain kind of industry, I'm hearing space, timeline, and you were, I'm hearing involved in how it has been repetitively carried out. Now, whatever has been repetitively carried out has been somewhat, I'm hearing, um, duplicated. Yes, I'm hearing, and uh, kind of made very obvious. Uh, and uh, I'm hearing publishing, publishing, broadcasting here with the Diane Arbus. Take a look at this card, whatever it may sort of elicit for you um, and uh, remind you of there is a camera here in the center, uh, kind of like a filming filming camera device uh, here with uh, um, the center figure illustrated and two almost like twins here at the at her at her right hand side as I'm perceiving it. Now there is I'm hearing again though, like within that space there is something that you feel or that is being I'm hearing um, collaborated on and it, it is something that perhaps you are going to be I'm hearing. In, 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 I'm hearing translating. I'm hearing transforming. Okay, let's um, let's pull the cards and see what comes through. Again, I'm seeing like a very clear distinction between public and private. 
practiced and in a certain way I'm hearing polarized like how it is that what we are even let's say considering we can't quite I'm hearing touch taste and feel yet I'm almost seeing like again I'm seeing it as like something that you it's like okay it's like this Aries I'm seeing okay someone being like I'm gonna I'm gonna tailor a dress I'm hearing I'm gonna craft a crown I'm hearing as well the jewels though they're being imported from I'm hearing Belize I'm hearing all also I'm hearing Ar 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 Arbor I'm hearing Arbor I'm hearing Arbor I'm hearing Michigan I'm hearing Ann Arbor I'm hearing Michigan um and but I'm hearing also like uh, I'm hearing Argentina I'm hearing uh, I'm hearing um I'm hearing Guatemala I'm hearing for a number of you but also um Aruba. I'm hearing Aruba. Okay. And it's like, okay. And then, but then I'm hearing the metals, the precious metals I'm hearing as well are going to be, uh, uh, I'm hearing abroad, ashore from, uh, from, from, uh, sh uh, I'm hearing, hearing Shenandoah here. The high priest is coming through in reverse. I'm seeing nature strongly. Uh, I'm hearing though, uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing Sh I'm Cheyenne, I'm hearing Shin and I'm hearing Shenandoah strongly, but also, um, I'm hearing Shaka Khan. <laughs> Six of Cups going through. Ten of Wands upright and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Um, Aries, let's get a few more details on this though. I'm hearing specifically Father of Cups. I'm hearing. I'm hearing Sherry. Sage something, Aries, SH, I'm hearing that. Okay, nonetheless, uh, I'm hearing specifically, it's like, okay, well, and I'm still waiting for these, I'm hearing imports to kind of uh, align here, the fool and the world. I'm still kind of waiting on what has uh, been, uh, I'm hearing worked out as a, I'm hearing as a conversation piece. I'm hearing specifically the world and the fool wanting to remain as one. I'm hearing what's the interpretation of the act, the emperor's coming through. Since you're very card in the major arcana, Aries, you could be absolutely dealing with the Pisces though, and or Virgo, uh, strongly here. I'm hearing specifically uh, Pisces, perhaps uh, with Virgo placed uh, prominently in the chart somewhere. Take it as you will, it could be your own energy. It could be that of your, I'm hearing your shareholders. I'm hearing specifically, whatever that may mean in particular for you. I'm hearing if you were to cast a birth chart of your business, as well, uh, I'm hearing specifically, where's Virgo? I'm hearing specifically in that chart and there could be a focus on what is being put on display. Okay, now I'm hearing wave by wave, we're understanding what the world is counting down to with us. I'm hearing on the ballot for it. Very interesting. We, in a certain way, as we may feel it, are, I'm hearing, representing a certain uh, room. I'm hearing it as a room. The Three of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is, is uh, mirroring this Nine of Pentacles. You need the Ace of Swords that's popping out of the uh, the uh, Hangman. If you're dealing with the Pisces, I'm hearing they are um, preparing here a certain announcement. It, again, it could be you. You could be making a decision here. Now, the Father of Pentacles leads out of the whole spread. I want to get a few more details, though, before we talk about uh, that, okay? I'm hearing an It, specifically the Ace of Wands here as well. You got a lot of aces coming through for you. Aries in this reading. Uh, okay. Aries, if you would like a personal reading, I know some of you have been asking to do personal readings and I do as of yet. If that's something of interest to you, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can access the links uh, to book directly right below via the, uh, the bio description box. Okay. And, um, Click through to those uh, links 
to read more on the options there. Okay, ooh, Aries, you got the Son of Pentacles, Father of Pentacles, son of, son of Swords, I'm hearing, but is the Mother of Swords. Here, I'm hearing somebody is, uh, got, has got m multiple, I'm hearing, forms of representation. I'm seeing someone with, like, multiple agencies that represent them. It could be you. Uh, it could be also, I'm seeing, like, a number of, like, contracts that they're signed to. Here are the Fool in reverse, looking over at the Father of Pentacles. Someone may be waiting to get signed off on something. It's almost like, I need to get that one signature from uh from 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 sherry i'm hearing again i'm hearing also though uh i'm hearing sheree i'm hearing that as well um but uh who else i'm hearing specifically steven steven yes okay now the strength card is um uh, i'm hearing aligning with the mother of pentacles and with the stars as well um but with no i'm hearing hasty decisions that are made to rush that process it's something that you are rising to i'm hearing culminating to the uh, the peak of here with the hanged man and it's i'm mean, getting related to something that you might be emotionally i'm hearing understanding i'm hearing the evolution of the of the, of the physical space too um and i'm get, i'm seeing it as something that as i'm almost seeing like a big ship like a big cruise liner Aries, um, almost like mm, kind of bobbing in and out of uh, out of waves at sea, and it's slowly, slowly entering the dock. And I'm seeing that it's something where you feel you're like I know that I'm on this uh, boat, and I I feel I'm hearing that I'm there by on the waves, and I'm hearing how I understand the waves and how they move, and how the I'm hearing I'm hearing the market moves as well. I'm hearing industry. Yes, again, I'm seeing like a macro and a micro interpretation of a certain experience i'm seeing specifically for your areas how it is that i understand what moves um what i am uh, i'm hearing um I'm hearing uh, marketing, I'm hearing as well, what it is that I am involved in. Um, you got here, the uh, Sagittarius, here, Sagittarius coming through, the Magician coming through, Empress up right, feeling this like pain in my right wrist, Aries, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm hearing release that, uh, that, that one uh, role, I'm hearing that one role, whatever it is, I'm hearing specifically, uh, release that one, uh, I'm hearing rope that you're like holding on to, I'm hearing straining, straining, I'm hearing holding on to something, and I'm seeing that it is uh, perhaps even a physical, physical sort of form that perhaps you've been really, I'm hearing like focused on taking, and it's like, you know that moment when you're like so tensed, and you're like, you're like in the moment of something, and it's kind of like you're, you're grappling with it, like on an energetic level, and emotional, spiritual, physical, in whatever way the moment for you. And it's almost as if Aries, I'm seeing someone who like has been, again, holding on to, to a physical object. And uh, in that moment, they're like, whoa. I, and then when they're when they let go, they realize how hard they've been holding on to it, and they're like, "Well, I didn't know that I was." Ha I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing, um, uh, I'm hearing hanging on that tight. And the hangman here, the eight of the spread perpendicular to the eight of pentacles in reverse. I'm hearing we are uh, we're releasing it. I'm hearing specifically. And once you do Aries, whatever this is, whatever this position is, I'm hearing as well. It feels like I'm hearing. Um, it feels like uh, I'm hearing. I'm hearing passion all over again. Yes, I'm hearing you're breaking out of the cycle. I'm hearing of this box. I'm hearing out of the boundaries that have been, uh, I'm hearing considered your best friends. And it's like, where did I feel like, uh, uh, feeling like I was a ball bouncing around a room off of four walls? Well, it felt good. I'm hearing where and when, when did I uh, establish that kind of routine? And, and when did I consider that it was my, uh, I'm hearing create my creative, uh, I'm hearing uh, company culture as well. I'm hearing specifically that uh, I'm hearing carried me into it. Very interesting. Now I'm seeing that you're recognizing a certain, I'm hearing surface potential that you feel absolutely I'm hearing is to be capitalized on. How is it and what is surface level? I'm hearing specifically how it is that I am showing, I'm hearing the world, what it is and I'm hearing my audience strongly, what it is that I want to be working with. And I'm seeing it as being something that is a little bit of like I'm hearing a re-standardization of an, a certain act. And I'm hearing not the act that is uh, I'm hearing I'm hearing a perfectly uh, oriented uh, for an audience, but the act that is in a certain way, uh, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing re reenacted, uh, I'm hearing and re re 
rediscovered i'm hearing recreated and also uh i'm hearing rebranded very interesting where it's like this is not acting i'm hearing what does it mean to act and i'm seeing an actor actress uh, and whoever um kind of uh, or however they want to be uh considered i'm hearing or called a, a certain i'm hearing by a certain title uh or their name i'm hearing specifically as well uh who is like okay what does it mean i'm seeing someone like on a stage and then also like wait a second and they like rip the curtain off and they're like hold on a second what is acting i'm hearing what does it mean to act and what does it mean to feel that we are an actor on the stage and what does it mean to feel that we have i'm hearing broken the bonds that told us that we were a certain type of uh i'm hearing boy to begin with here whatever that may mean for you where it's like i was fitting into a certain role i'm hearing a certain uh, i'm hearing room as well i'm hearing roomy poetry here Ooh, whatever that may mean i'm just going for a number of you um okay take it as you will it could be some kind of space even philosophically it could be philosophy that you have been i'm hearing in the process of uh, teaching here the hangman regards i'm hearing who who told i'm hearing who tells me i'm hearing that i fit a certain timeline as well of who i want to be talking to and who my audience is and i'm seeing someone kind of like again being like this is not my demographic i'm hearing just because someone has done their data plot points and told told me i'm hearing Anne chester in the back room that we have been chosen as a certain i'm hearing people at certain places in time to hold certain uh i'm hearing positions i'm hearing we are not just uh i'm hearing uh, balloons in the room for your party i'm hearing that specifically okay Ari, someone's getting a little uh a little uh uh i'm hearing colorful hair in whatever way that might be meant for you the father wants in reverse talking to the mother of cups in reverse you might be dealing with um another aries i'm hearing in aries though could be also uh water sign pisces pisces here cancer scorpio as well um you're leading out with a love letter that you i'm hearing lick sealed with uh, your eyes wide open so interesting and if you imagine that right it's like when if you were to like lick an envelope closed how would you do that <laughs> right? would you like take that with me like or would you like or would you, what would you do? And here's specifically area. It's so interesting. Okay, I'm not sure what's coming through, but there is somewhat of like a space of, um, I'm hearing the uh, the dress line here that we're sizing up with a temperance card and the high priestess. There is a focus on what you feel is the way in which, I'm hearing the way in which you, um, I'm hearing re- um, standardize i'm hearing again the act and i'm not again seeing it as like i was cast as uh, i'm hearing the gerber baby and now i am uh, i'm hearing gonna gonna be uh, i'm hearing getting new lashes to give her a little uh, i'm hearing pump i'm hearing face i'm hearing pump i'm hearing boost no i'm hearing oh, i am i am i'm hearing re re redefining the recreational activities i'm hearing of her that tell everyone what she's doing i'm hearing in the uh in i'm hearing in in the uh shirley temple very interesting whatever that may mean in particular for you now shirley temple was uh was it was an actress right um and again what is what is an actress what is an actor take it as you will it's your areas i'm seeing that though yet again it's like a question of what is the room i'm hearing that the actress or the actor i'm hearing um packs their things in and prepares for the stage very interesting and i'm it's just so clear i'm seeing for you aries that there is an alluding to a certain performative space and if you've got a lot of aries in your chart that's um, it's no surprise right there is generally um quite a fascination with uh and an inclination towards uh acting i'm hearing that specifically uh if you've got a lot of aries in your chart and uh i'm hearing airborne i'm hearing airborne as well I'm hearing yes okay now uh, i'm hearing alien here with i'm hearing foreign again with the father of pentacles and the fool i'm hearing someone's uh, coming coming through here i'm hearing from abroad um it may be a brother i'm hearing from another lifetime here with the son of pentacles looking over the ace of cups okay i'm hearing have we lost touch or have we lost uh uh only uh i'm hearing um i'm hearing uh, teeth whatever that would mean particular for you i'm seeing there is a focus on a timeline here and something that has been kind of tested i'm hearing tugged at uh i'm hearing tracked and also uh and also uh um i'm hearing uh i'm hearing tantalized here i'm hearing physically but also by way of the mental uh uh i'm hearing um 
the accuracy of it. It's so interesting. There could be something that is just so serendipitous. Yes. Star coming through the temperance card, both right over this two of pentacles, the chariot. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm seeing you connecting with someone Aries and kind of being like, whoa, I'm hearing, how did we get to, I'm hearing, how do we get to work on this together? I'm seeing you having, in a certain way, been brought together with someone in a very deliberate manner, the emperor and the emperor sandwiching this daughter of wands. You've got a pair here that is alluding to your very own archetype in the major arcana, dear Aries, the emperor and the empress, is both associated with uh, the Aries archetype, okay? And it's like, I'm hearing, we were both chosen. I'm hearing, wait, 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 wait. We were both chosen to uh, to change our clothes in the same room. I'm hearing, what? I'm hearing, and I'm seeing here related to like, even again, like birth here, the fool in reverse and the magician in upright. I'm seeing someone who is like, I know it's like, it's always a matter of perception, Aries, but I'm seeing someone who is like, uh, comes together with someone who they, um, I'm hearing closing time, turn down all the lights, and na 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 Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the nine of the universe i'm seeing someone who's like who's brought together with a certain uh again i'm hearing like a brother from another mother with the chariot the son of a pentacles and the emperor i'm hearing specifically it's someone who you feel was like i'm hearing chosen specifically for this one channel that you are uh, i'm hearing um I'm hearing medium. I'm hearing medium here with the chariot. Could be dealing with the cancer. If you are, uh, I'm hearing specifically, you feel that there's something like, I'm hearing just kind of, excuse me, Aries divine about, about how they have entered into your, I'm hearing classroom and also your, uh, I'm hearing your coloring book with your assets. Very interesting. I'm seeing though, as well, uh, um, Aries, there being a focus on what, um, you feel has been continued. I'm hearing over time, like that you've perhaps been involved in over time. I'm hearing carried out here in childhood. Yes, absolutely. Could be focusing on um, a certain, uh, I'm hearing remedial, uh, remedial space. I'm hearing of, uh, of your, uh, I'm hearing recreational activities, like something that you used to do. I'm hearing something, I'm hearing someone that I used to know. Is that my King's Leon? The death card is mirroring this eight of swords of right. The death card's in reverse. The eight of swords is upright. The empress comes through again at the very uh, face. I'm hearing to set the pace. I'm hearing the pace of this project, but I'm hearing specifically sitting at the very uh, thresholds of, uh, and I'm hearing the face of this, uh, the, uh, I'm hearing the, uh, the timeline. Very interesting here. Aries loving light and joy this period. And right as we trail it out, the empress is mirroring the emperor. Uh, again, we've got a pair here. I'm hearing they love each other. I'm hearing, yeah, I'm hearing, they really, I'm hearing, uh, they love each other. And, uh, it could be something that you are, uh, connecting more deeply to here and um, I'm hearing interpreting in a whole new light as well thank you so much for tuning in letting light to you and they're gonna be focused on matters of children I'm hearing cycles of birth I'm hearing childhood um, and they're being a focus specifically here on the yin propensity Principle I'm hearing that which is related to the introversion of the receptivity of in whatever way that might be meant for you We all have every propensity yin yang masculine feminine expressive and receptive Again here the empress is in reverse whatever that may mean in particular number you take it as you will Loving light to Aries. Thank you all so much for connecting all of you for your dear support Thank you all so much for your dear support energetically above and beyond all loving light to you Enjoy this period and I highly recommend to check out your right this center or moon sign as well as you may find the further insights there for you and your situation and I'm going to be continuing with the extended reading. If you'd like to access that, feel free to click the link below in the description box that I provide, and that will route you to order the signs of interest. Thank you so much, all of you, for your dear support with these readings, the love and light. And I know some of you have been asking again if I do personal readings, and I do. Um, as of yet, if you'd like to uh, book one of those, you can do so via the links in the bio description box below. Dear Aries, if you'd like a full reading, there are a few options. There's a full reading option that will assess how the energies have been moving from the past into the future. And so it'll pull a card for the deep past, recent past, the current state, and the near, near future advice position, hopes and fears, and the final outcome as well as the environmental position, the energetic pathway that leads into your current state, the energetic pathway that leads into the final outcome, and a theme card. So that is considered the full reading, and that was a considered a, a Celtic cross. So uh, take it as you will, Aries, whatever you feel guided to, or 
read on. Um, again, if you have uh, any questions, feel free to email me and I'll try to get back to you there as soon as I can. Alchemyandyou at gmail.com. Feel free to email me at alchemyandyou at gmail.com if you have any questions, okay, regarding readings and so on and so forth, the like. Nonetheless, uh, six exciting energies are coming through for you. Love and light. Enjoy this period. I'm going to begin here with the uh, extended reading. Enjoy this period, Aries, and I'll see you soon. Bye.